Police at the Steinbrenner home, family members gathered all day. And those who never knew the man came by to share their grief. That's where we join our Don Gramaze. He continues our team coverage tonight. Good evening, Don. Good evening, Linda. The official word of George Steinbrenner's death came from the New York Yankees at just about 10 o'clock this morning. It read, it is with profound sadness the family of George M. Steinbrenner III announces his passing. He passed away this morning in Tampa, Florida at the age of 80. And since that time, behind me at the family home, friends, family, relatives have gathered to say goodbye to this Tampa icon. Throughout the day, well-wishers sent flowers to the family home. Security was heavy at the compound called the Anchorage, and around town, hearts were heavy over the passing of George Steinbrenner. Uh, and I know a lot of individual stories of people who have come up to me over the years to say, you know, I was in a tough spot, I had a certain situation occur with my family, and George Steinbrenner stepped in and helped. One of those Steinbrenner helped was Brian Hughes, who came by the family home to plant a small flag in the front yard to honor Mr. Steinbrenner. Mr. Steinbrenner helped me when I needed it. Did you want to tell us about how, what happened? He was a good man. Him is Mrs. Ace. Steinbrenner owned the New York Yankees, the most successful sports franchise in the world. Steinbrenner brought the Yankees to Tampa for spring training and made Tampa his home. He also made a name as one of Tampa's biggest philanthropists. That's a legacy that you leave that, you know, it's really even hard to define and put into words that kind of individual caring. So I'm very sad that a person of that caliber has left this earth, but he certainly has left behind a great legacy. I had the opportunity to meet George Steinbrenner personally several times in my career. I remember the first time, it was at a huge charity event he was throwing for hundreds and hundreds of disadvantaged kids. They were all getting school backpacks to go back to school with. I remember trying to interview him, and he looked at me and says, don't even mention me. It's not about me today. It's about the kids. It's the kind of guy George Steinbrenner was here in Tampa. At the family home in South Tampa, Don Gourmet's ABC Action News. Thanks.